By simply going to 1.9 metal beadlock wheels, I have added just a hair more than the 50 grams over the stock plastic wheels. Welcome back to the upgrade series on Element Night Runner. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome. Here you'll find RC reviews, upgrades and mods, and run videos related to RCs. So if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. In my previous upgrade video, I continued to focus on improving the performance of Element's IF system by switching to Bowhouse RC metal parts. Today, I'm going to add weights to improve the overall weight distribution. Out of the box, Element Night Runner had 55-45 weight distribution with overall weight of 2310 grams or 4.9 pounds. With 1300 mAh 3S LiPo battery that I normally use, the weight distribution changed to 57% front, 43% rear with overall weight of 2432 grams or 5.2 pounds which is quite decent for a scale trail truck. But I'll be adding tons of scale accessories to the body, which will end up raising the center of gravity. In addition, on Elements IFS system, there are many parts that can be swapped over to brass, unlike straight or pro axles, so I have to be very selective. First, I am going to swap out the 1.55 plastic bidlock wheels to 1.9 metal wheels while using the stock general grabber tires and foams. The metal wheels will add a decent weight to all four corners. In addition, I'm going to add breast wheel weights to the front wheels only. I prefer not to use rotational weight, but I don't have many choices on an IFS system. And if I'm going to be adding rotational weight, I'd rather use breast wheel weights over adding lead weights around the inner rings, which is farther away from the center of the diameter. The stock plastic bidlock wheels weighs 97.6 grams, while the 1.9 metal bidlock wheel weighs 149.1 grams. And 1.9 metal bidlock wheel with the breast wheel weights weighs 213 grams. That's a huge weight difference. By simply going to 1.9 metal beadlock wheels, I have added just a hair more than the 50 grams over the stock plastic wheels. And with breast wool weights, I have added roughly 115 grams additional weight on each wheels. Second, I'm going to swap out the stock plastic knuckles to SSD brass knuckles. Aesthetic weight and it will add hefty weight to the front end. The SSD breast knuckles are perfect fit and works really well on the Element IF system. Third, I'm going to swap out the plastic wheel hex with metal wheel hex from Samix. It will add 2mm wheel extension on each side. Additionally, I'm going to add brass wheel hex on the front while using aluminum wheel hacks on the rear. The change is very minimal, but every little change adds up. So far, my upgrades focus primarily on performance mods. I have swapped out the electronics, the ESC and the motor, the servo, the receiver, and added 25% overdrive gears. I then focus on IFS performance mods by installing the Night Custom IFS lift kit and upgrade it on metal parts from the Bauhaus RC. And today, I focused on weight distribution by adding breast weights and 1.9 metal wheels. I started to finally install scale accessories from both Night Customs and Element Night Runner scale accessory. So I'll cover some of the lessons learned in the future video. Hope you found the information helpful. Please like and subscribe and make sure to hit notification bell so that you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching Pixel Hobbies.